The fight over mitigation measures might be forcing some school staff to retire early or take extra time off. Now local education leaders are trying to find solutions. Five on your side, Sarah Maki is here with some of those plans. And Sarah, the man you met today, he's just got a brilliant idea. Yeah, there's actually quite a few different solutions on the on the table out here. Now, staffing shortages, they might have been a long term problem, but they do say it's likely that the pandemic really only exacerbated that issue. And some education leaders, they think it could get worse as current staff members now deal with burnout. At Hardin Middle School in St. Charles, the principal, Daryl Diggs, he says that he has dealt with hiring issues, something that eventually led him to create what is called the EDU Openings website with an app now coming on November 1st. He says the portal allows applicants to put a face to their name to record videos introducing themselves to potential employers. Now others say that the solution might come from the state level, especially since substitute teachers are currently capped at 550 hours a year. A year ago, um, the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education allowed some changes in the way that we can utilize those retired teachers and that certainly helped, but we still haven't filled all those voids yet. The dream right now is to fill classrooms. The dream right now is to be impactful in regards to what our students need, you know, day to day. Now, traditionally hiring teacher, teacher hiring rather, it ramps up after the holidays when people finish up their degrees, but we are told that realistically hiring, it is now a year round process.